welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a why didn't they work check on Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green. This was a viewer requested video. Let's get. Okay guys, so as always, leave in the comments your requests for future videos. I put them on the list. This was a viewer requested video that I think is just fantastic. I mean, what a great one because they have such a very interesting love story, Brian Austin Green and Megan Fox. But before we get into it, I rescued a pug today. So I was doing an Amazon return because I shop on Amazon all the time, you know? and I was returning something that I bought and you know I live in an area that's nice but dicey and there was this homeless guy a really good looking homeless guy uh that was pushing a wheelchair and he was trying to assault another man with the wheelchair and I noticed that there was a really adorable pug in that wheelchair and I was like gosh you know maybe I should offer to just buy the pug from him and then, you know, I had like an inner conflict. I was like, well, you know, it's his dog. He's got a rough life here on the street. Maybe the dog keeps him sane, keeps him company. You know, it's his one source of joy. So I, I asked him, like, I, I was like, he like ran off pushing his wheelchair, trying to assault people with this dog. So I, I was like, gosh, I hope I can find him. So I found him, I was driving at this point and I, you know, I pulled up and I rolled down my window and I asked him if he would like sell me the dog for a hundred bucks and he said that he would he was like yes and i was like i don't have the cash on me um and he's like okay and i was like will you wait here like i'll be back in 15 minutes and he's like he was just like he was like well we'll see and i was like oh. so uh, i run home i mean i'm like five minutes away from home I run home get my wallet i was running driving around without my wallet like an idiot get it leave drop mr peach off because mr peach was like i don't know if i like this idea um, and then we pick up the dog. And so if you go to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I uploaded a video of this in real time uh, to the Instagram so you can check out this pug, which is adorable. And then I dropped the pug off at the shelter. A dog this cute is gonna get adopted like this. I've dropped dogs off, like I've rescued dogs in similar situations in the past and they've always gotten adopted. And the guy that took him in was like, this dog is gonna get adopted really fast. Like we. Like, he'll be here for days, maybe, you know, maybe 24 hours. And I was like, yeah, I kind of had a feeling. So that's a nice story about Pugsy. I've been calling him Pugsy. So that's that. And now let's turn our attention to Megan Fox and MGK. So these two were together for 16 years. You know, it seems like a very faded karma connection. And to me, the most dubious part of their union was the fact that they met when Megan Fox was 18 years old. And Brian Austin Green was 31 or 32. If he was 31, he was about to be 32. Now, that's not a good look for any adult because no adult who is like emotionally intelligent, emotionally mature, non predatory, sane, develop, no arrested development, no adult wants to date a teenager. You just, you don't want to. There's no desire to. It'd, it'd be like dating an animal or a chimpanzee. Well, animals are chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are animals, but you know what I mean? Like, when I look on like a dating app, if someone comes through my feed accidentally who's like 25, I'm like, oh, that's disgusting because I'm, a, I'm an elder. Like, I'm an adult adult. Like, I'm old. I've seen a lot of stuff. And 25 year olds look like these crazy sort of nervous, dirty creatures that are just kind of like wandering around planet Earth. You're like, oh, get away from me with that. So the fact that he would be interested in an, in an 18 year old, you know, who was a minor, you know, five minutes ago is distressing. That's that's very concerning. That suggests that he has arrested development. Um, it suggests that he might have self-esteem issues. He doesn't feel like he could impress or attract an equal, like someone closer to his age who could like meet par for par for him. It suggests he might be controlling, uh, you know, he, that he wants to be able to dictate and navigate, you know, all relationships. It might suggest that like he wants someone who's more like, you know, adoring of him than somebody who comes at him on an equal level. You know, a teenager who's watched 90210, like the OG version would be like, oh, you're David, you're the dentist's son. 
you know, you were living in the house, the beach house with Kelly. You know, like someone who has more of an adoring, like, oh, I remember you then, like, you're so great. It's just, it's, it, there's just so many buttons that this pushes and suggests just by the simple age difference that they have. Now, when we get to this rap sheet here, I mean, they met on Hope and Faith in 2004. She, they hooked up is pretty much what it sounds like. It sounds like they hooked up, but he didn't want a relationship. And she's like, well, I'm going to go date. And he was like, well, no, don't do that. I don't want other men to have you. So he didn't say that part. But then they started dating. 2006, they get engaged. 2009, they call off the engagement. So they're at the three-year engagement. That's, guys, that's a red flag. I was engaged to someone for three and a half years. A gay man. Uh, a gay man who's deeply closeted. I'm not outing him. I, you, know, you never need to know his name. But there, there's that. Okay. 2010, they get engaged for the second time. As dictated by these two fingers I'm holding up. Um, to, in 2010, they have the Hawaii wedding. In 2012, they have baby number one. In 2014, they have baby number two. In 2015, they f she files for divorce from him. Isn't that interesting? So baby number two almost seemed like baby to save the marriage. Um, and then in 2016, they have baby number three. Now that's definitely baby to save the marriage. 2017, something happens. I can't read my own handwriting. In 2019, the original divorce filing that Megan uh, filed is dismissed. She dismisses it. She petitions for it to be dismissed. And then in 2020, they split. And then in 2020, she files for divorce again. So what, what does this tell us? This was a very rocky relationship. Uh, I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, that's an understatement. It's just very rocky, tumultuous. Like there was with the, the, post, the postponing of the engagement and then the wedding and then the babies and the divorce filing and then the, oh no, we made up. This is a lot of fighting and making up is what this sounds like. And let's take a look. So with Megan, we know she's got an earth heavy chart. So she is a Taurus with a Capricorn rising moon in Leo. That's a lot of loyalty there. And there's a lot of resistance to change. This is someone who would want to stay with a partner for a very long time and work and work and work on the relationship. Just invest everything she has into it. So we saw that with Bag, Brian Austin Green, and we're seeing it again with MGK. Brian Austin Green is a Cancer. So Cancer Taurus is high, high, high compatibility. I know a lot of Cancer Taurus couples who've been together for a really long time. Some of them do seem a little codependent. I'll, I'll say it. Like the Cancer can sometimes be very controlling. Yes, the sideways motions of the crab and Taurus folk can, you know, be very slow and resistant to change. And sometimes like Taurus folk can just be very like go along to get along. So sometimes they're in a situation where they're putting up with bad behavior, or abusive behavior. So Brian Austin Green is a cancer, Libra rising, moon in Capricorn. This is somebody who's a homebody who likes to control their partner. I mean, this... I mean, again, the Capricorn moon is also very steadfast and loyal. Their moons are, their emotional centers in very steadfast, loyal places. So hence why they lasted as long as they did. You know, this would be a couple that would be very resistant to, you know, throwing in the towel, breaking up the marriage, even if that was the best thing for it. And so if you look at Megan Fox's Instagram, like if you scroll all the way down, I mean, does she still have it up? Who knows? But like back in the day, when if you went to her Instagram and scrolled all the way down, you could see when the marriage was just like really just dead on arrival because she just wouldn't post about him or the posts they did were just paid posts by advertisers. Like there was, it just seemed so joyless. Like they'd stand next to each other and be like, oh, buy this fizzy drink. Uh, and just like not even want to like stand next to each other is how it looked to me. So let's take a look at these cards. Okay, so Megan, Brian, Megan, Brian, helping or hurting the situation. And what was the bottom line about why they didn't work? Okay, so Megan Fox's external vibe towards Brian towards the end. Oh, okay, I mean, very self-explanatory. So 10 of wands in reverse. So upright, this is someone, too many pots in the fire. You need to delegate. You're losing your way. You're losing your sight of the end goal. You don't know where you're heading and you're gonna drop something. When this card comes up in reverse, you are dropping something. Things are falling out of your hands. Everything is destabilized. Like the situation has gone from bad to worse. So this is pretty self-explanatory as to what it means in regards to bag. Okay, bags, external vibe towards Megan. 
Oh, interesting. Okay, so we got the King of Swords upright. So this is usually the truth-telling king. And I'm not saying that with Bag, it, he wasn't a truth-telling king. But this can also be a king who's very cold. So this, the classic meaning of this card is the king that tells you the truth. The king that sort of like looks you in the eye and tells you about like, you know, the evils of battle and the ugliness of human, uh, the human spirit and who is not emotionally connected to the past anymore. So that is an element of this card. Like he didn't have any nostalgia or connection to their past, you know, their history together. Like there's a sense of cleaving with and cutting with swords. So there's that aspect. So there can be a coldness to this king. That's just kind of like, yeah, I'm done with you, whatever. And that's the truth. So this can be a very chilly card, even if it's very truthful. Okay. All right. Megan's internal vibe towards bag. Oh, wow. So self-explanatory. Prince of Swords in reverse. So Prince of Swords, uh, this is the Knight of Swords. So I often call these fuckboids, but this is someone who's like invested in something and who wants to fight for it. You know, this is someone's like, ah, oh, into the red mist. Let's charge into battle. Let's go. Well, let's do it. In reverse, this is a very low energy card. This is a very low investment card. This is a card of kind of like, whatever. All right. Uh, you make the lemonade. I'm going to go to the store and buy my own lemonade. Like, whatever. Like, that's the vibe of this card. You know, it's kind of like, oh, whatever. KK. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Brian Austin Green's internal vibe towards Me Megan. Oh, okay. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. So two of cups. So this is interesting. This fits with the timeline that we know about them. You know, so two of cups is the beginning of a new relationship or it's the renaissance, like the rekindling of your existing relationship. So did he have someone on the side that he was seeing? I doubt it. You know, he really only started seeing someone when her and MGK got so like big and gross. This is a card of like, I want, I'm still in love with you and I still want to work on this. And like, you're still my partner and you're still really important to me. So that's, that's really interesting. Okay. Um, what was helping or hurting the situation? Hmm. Oh, okay. So we got the nine of wands. So I almost view this as a hurting card because they kept trying. So the nine of wands was like, let's wait and see. Like, let's, you know, it's of like, okay, we've planted all of our wands. We have this investment. So with this card, there can sometimes be a sense of sunk costs. Like, well, I invested all this money into this coffee shop and we're losing money every day, but I want to stick with it and go down with the ship because I put so much into it. Where it's just kind of like with this card, Nine of Wands, like you planted your wands. Now you have to wait and see what happens next. And I feel like they just did too much waiting and seeing, too much trying, too much like counseling, too much, too many babies. I mean, the kids are great. It's not your fault, kids. You didn't do anything wrong. You know, so it's just, it's too much of that going on that just wasn't helping the situation. And with Taurus folk, they can move so slowly and be so resistant to change. And we know that Megan is a Taurus, so... I mean, I know so many Taurus people in my life, like getting them to like, oh, like maybe instead of hard shell tacos, we'll do soft shell tacos. And they'll be like, well, I need 90 days to think about that. So you're like, OK. And what was the bottom line about why they didn't work? Oh, OK. So this is interesting. So temperance card in reverse. So basically, you know, this is upright. It's bringing things into balance, harmony, fairness, justice taking a time out. So in reverse, this is a card of, it was imbalanced, it was destabilized, there was a complete lack of harmony. So sometimes with Taurus and Cancer, the chemistry between them when they first meet can be so strong that they, you know, they're like, oh, we're soulmates, we're, our sex is crazy, it's like blah, 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 but they don't have like the, they can't always handle the real life of the relationship. And they don't know how to balance like everyday harmony into their union. You know, it, it can be two extremes of like, I love you, I hate you. It just can be too intense, you know? So that's basically why it's destabilized. All right, guys, so that's what I've got for you. Comment below, what do you think of Bag? Do you think it was slightly predatory or inappropriate of him to date an 18 year old when he was in his 30s? Put it in the comments. Like and subscribe, it helps the channel to grow. And as always, we'll do this again.